Good evening, family. It's 10.09 p.m. Do you know where Miss Norma is? Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm right here. Thank you, Jesus. A long day, but by his grace, we're going to keep our readings current. Amen. Amen. Harvesting. Thus saith he unto his disciples, the harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he will send forth laborers into his harvest, into his harvest. Amen. We are laborers for the Lord family. Amen. And some of us are harvest, but we are all here together. I thank the Lord for this time and this space. Amen. Our scripture lesson came from Matthew chapter 9, verses 37 and 38. Let us pray. Oh, Abba Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, for strength, for courage, for fortitude, for each and every one of us, Lord, in the realm that we're in, Lord. I just want to say thank you, Lord, that you've given me the strength, Lord, to be up, to do our reading for today, Lord. Lord, this time is so precious and special, Lord. To me, every day that you allow me to come on, Lord, thank you so much. Blessing and healing, Lord, to all of our land. Thank you for the answered prayers, Lord. Thank you for your grace, your goodness, and your mercy. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the faithful ones, Lord, that have been here for quite some time and that make comments and likes and encourage, Lord. And thank you, Lord, for those who are here that this may be new for them, Lord, and they may not truly understand who you are and how great thou art, Lord. Or thank you, Lord, for those who just come and sit and listen. Lord, may we all bloom and grow in the way that you would have for us individually, Lord, and collectively. Thank you for allowing us, Lord, and loving us just where we are. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Harvesting. Daily I traverse the highway from St. Catherine to Kingston, Jamaica, and back for work. The vast fields of sugar cane stand regimentally as vehicles speed along the highway. It is refreshing to watch the harvesting process as the seasons pass from spring to summer to autumn and to winter. With the effects of the season generally the same except for when rain comes. There is great patience as we patience as we watch the tropical sunshine ripen the fruit, enhancing the texture to be savored to be savored by taste buds when the crystal grains reach supermarket shelves and ultimately kitchen tables. The tractors clean and ready the fields, and soon new suckers are planted. Daily sprays of water are seen wetting the fields. Soon, streams flow into the surrounding river. The huge watering machinery will be taken away, and as the weeks pass, the plants mature. And an extensive watering is no longer necessary. The fields become covered in a sea of dense green sugarcane plants, swaying in the wind, heavy, ripe, and ready for harvest. The morning dew is still fresh on the ground in the cool air as the day awaits the rising sun. When the harvesters converge on the fields, their frames, small and insignificant, among the huge sugarcane plants, they are few, and the fields are plenty. When will their task be over? The disciples had just completed a tour of duty and were no doubt tired, 
tested and tried. Jesus called the 12 and gave them power and authority over devils and to cure diseases. Then he sent each of them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Luke chapter 9 verses 1 through 6 in the New Testament. The work was great. So after these things, the Lord appointed another 72 and sent them also. Two by two into every city and place where he would come. Luke 10 and verse 1 from the New Testament once more. The work of the harvest process continues today with us. As with the sugar cane, hardly anyone remembers the process of planting and growing or the labor of the reapers as we enjoy the sweet crystals at our table in various times, in various forms. Still, there is victory in spirit when the harvest is reaped. Amen. Lives are changed, praise God, and others come to know Jesus Christ, hallelujah, as their personal Savior. May we continue to give glory and honor to God through harvesting. Amen. Amen. Harvesting. Hallelujah. Our reading this evening was written by Elizabeth Ida Cain. Harvesting. Abba Father, Lord, help us to be a good harvest. Help us, Lord, to study and read the word, Lord, and grow, Lord, and then go out and tell somebody else. Be a part of the reaping, Lord, that comes, Father. Help us, Lord, to share the good news of Jesus Christ, who we have come to know as, as our Lord and Savior. Some of us, Lord, are still babies. Some of us are drinking milk from a bottle. But Abba Father, as we continue to study thy word and open this space up for you to come in, Lord, pretty soon we will sink, and sink our teeth into the meat of what is going on. Lord, bless us, heal us, and Abba Father, tonight I'm going to add, teach us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, family. Amen. Thank you for being here. Thank you for waiting. Thank you for those who just awoke this morning. But I would like to share with you um, a, a prayer that came to me this morning as a result of my own personal prayers. You know, I told you that I have learned and am learning and remembering that before I get up and talk to anyone else, that I enter into my father's court with thanksgiving and into his gates with praise. So today, the Holy Spirit, um, I wrote it out and I sent it to the prayer warriors. I sent it out to my children and um, I want to share it with you. And it's just simply I decided this morning and by God's grace I wanted to become a part of who I am sew it to the fabric of my being hallelujah amen but I asked the Lord today if he could um, keep it the forethought of my mind to thank him and praise him throughout the day even when I find myself walking a little sideways, um, out of focus. Um, I found myself praising the Lord quite often that day and saying thank you. So I invite you, family, to share in that as well, saying thank you to the Lord. Glory, hallelujah, amen. Good night, family. By his grace, I will see you tomorrow. Amen.